Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Divide and Conquer, as we are continuing as the Woodland Realm. In the last episode, uh, really nothing major happened. We took uh, Bursatis, and uh, that's, well, that's mainly it, actually. Uh, I did tell in, I did told in the last episode, I will try to... Uh, close the campaign uh, very soon and that's because for my feeling the campaign is quite over we have defeated our major enemies Dolgaldur is gone uh, in the north um, well the dwarves took out Gundabad and um, also Mordor is actually quite uh, well, not that defeated actually. If I take a look at it, they have like four, five provinces left, so they are not really defeated. But the game is quite over. We have our key uh, cities. We have eliminated Dolgodor, our direct threat. We have defeated Isengard, and we have secured. A actually uh, the lives of Rohan and Gondor so the main thing that could happen is actually that maybe Harad uh, will be able to float in these lands and take them but it's not very likely And we are trying to find out how things are going here in the south. We have here Corvan the Fearless with quite a huge amount of generals. Um. But we are marching with this quite a lead army on Carandros, which has a huge heart garrison. But we will be able to, de to defeat them in the end. Because so we have a second there, a, a second and even a third army. Um, following one leader by Tosidion, the conqueror of Altfund, and we have Nothing in here actually, <laughs> but we are defeating the wing bit at a time, um, mostly because they have actually too many enemies. You only have the Anduin Fail as the last ally, but they are at war with Gondor, Khan, Dil, us, Lori, uh, Lori, and Mordor. So they are attacked from all sides. Well, we are actually allied to most of their enemies. Only Khan is not on our side, and that's because Khan has st stand with Mordor, and that's why they can't. We can't ally them with them because we are fighting against Mordor. Hmm, I want you to move south. So let's do that. Um, what is now? We finally have some decent roads. It will take a little less time to to move to Murkwood. But besides that, I think we are at the end of the turn. So let's. Oh yes, that was one of the most important things to do. Cannot be uh, anything. Uh, cannot be. It cannot be that the wing is not suffering from all those attacks from 
every direction actually. Because if I'm if I'm right and if my guessing is right, I guess Dale is getting um, get is getting towards with this. If I'm right, the Sea of Rune from the and attacking Dale Dominion from the north. So we are attacking from yeah north northwest. The west and the west, and Gondor is is actually threatening threatening them from the south uh, from the southern borders. So they and can't from the eastern borders. So they are already attacked from every side, and Mordor is somewhere in between there. So things are not looking very good for them, actually. They are retreating, as it seems. Uh, but we only border, border uh, for the western borders. So we're gonna focus on that one. should be able to retrain at least some troops. Hmm. Right, and Rawberg, we actually want to give that to Dale, because that would be nice. And we border Dale as we make the buffer over here, uh, Dale. And since they, uh, since it's a hundred percent Norman culture, I guess there are at least some kind of decent units in them. And at the same time, we should try. It's not a Norian that's lost. So maybe. Maybe Western Osgiliad, I'm not sure. No, Osgiliad is also still at hand. But Bannon. This is still at hand. Which is. This province then is, is the Cape of Belfast. Oh, this Dol Emrod. This is all part of Dol Emrod, which is actually quite confusing. Hmm, this is quite an elite army. Unlike this, which is actually quite a trash army. Hmm, we should try to get them out. Alright. 
Seems like we have quite everything under control. Oh, these are allies, of course. King's Halberts. I've never seen those units. They're nice. Do they have military access, actually? Oh, yes, they do. I don't. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's continue. I think I rem I've got to move Legolas again. It's unfortunate. I want him to get to... To the Foldberg, actually. Oh, bloody hell, are you serious? Yes, we should. And we will. Although I never played on Baradur. It seems like quite a good army. Alright, let's see what they have. Oh, those are bloody un... Alright, that's not nice. Nathar, oh, that's... Oh, we don't make that much money. We should do it anyway. Do we have here? Do have the Hinadar, which is really good. And they have some catapults, which can come in handy. Right, let's see. I've uh, actually never played on uh, on that map. I'm really interesting. We will win though, although it was uh, the balance of power wasn't in our favor. Oh, bloody hell! Oh, this is actually quite a nice. Damn it! This map is not that great. Can I put... I can't put any archers anywhere. Can I put them here? Yes, I can put them there. Oh, awesome. That's it, I guess. It's a really terrible map. So many of our units. Uh, let's see. Oh, this, ma this map is really terrible. Hmm, uh. it's the best thing I have so far, actually. Yeah, we will 
Nelson. Why the hell can't we? I wanted to say just that. Maybe we might be able to. Quite a few units without shields over there. That might prove useful. Oh, those are no Avari units, that's good at least. More Quandy protectors are behind that. Some bladesmen. Crossbowmen are annoying. The map itself is actually quite nice, but <laughs> to play with the camera is terrible. It's really... It's like I want this spot over here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bloody hard. It's a terrible map.
this is the best angle f to play this map. Is anything else? It's really terrible. Mm. Let's just see what we all have here. All warriors. So, we can best focus on these because every arrow that passes might uh, might be shoot, shot in the thorn guard. Just mark the thorn guard. Don't have to destroy their army if we weaken them enough. Oh, wait, stop. Yeah, is that where you're moving? Well, then you'll make excellent targets for my catapults. I just move them out. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Oh, what a terrible map. Yes. Oh, what? Damn it. I blame the bloody map. Crossbowman, what unit? No, I only need the archers. Okay, 
you hit them, yes you can. can even hit more Quanti Protectors and the Bladesmen, but the Bladesmen do have shields. Try to soften up them, let's see. I'm not doing... well, you're doing okay. That will leave quite some firepower. Gate guard has no use. You can try. Javelins to take down the crossbowmen. Can you hit them? No, you can't. That's clear. <laughs> Cannot make that angle. In that case, um, we send up these guys. Didn't kill that much yet. Um, Hmm, the horsemen are interesting. The patrols. What do we have here? Are that crossbows as well? No, those are regular horses. We have two units all the way over here. I'm not sure what they are doing. They're killing some things. <laughs> okay, enough focused on those patrollers. Just continue. Good.
problems, not that much that we are killing in percentage, but You focused on them. Just focused on the fires. Last but not least, we have the Hinadar. And you guys try to get them. Then we do have long, long, one last trick. Let's send them out. Take on the crossbowman. Damn it. Now everyone is getting in. That's not actually what I wanted. Oh wait. At least we um, blow, we definitely um, decrease their units, so that's good. That was our first goal.
do that because we don't want to. Right, we definitely decrease their strength. They do have some show very shows left. And they merged the Avari warriors, or maybe they had some healed, of course. Um, but mainly the sentinels and the protectors are definitely down. But so are we, actually. Hmm. They, they have lost some land to can't, to can't. Focus of Italian. Mm, we just give this one to Gondor. We have a diplomat for Gondor. Where are some troops? Where are the Gondor troops? There are the Gondor troops. Give region. I want to give you Carandros. I'll turn for some map information actually. Where is he? Where is the bloody spy? Oh, yes, I wanted him fun and sound. What we doing? What we will do now? Move away! This bloody hell! Um, all right. I want to give you Robert in exchange for map information. Hopefully there are some decent units in there. Oh, this is really crap. Privateer cavalry is alright, I guess. But anything else is really crap. At least we have built up some army in here, we can move to them.
I'm actually quite curious what they will do. for them and 12 for them oh jesus christ it will take forever um those guys 10 turns well send these guys at them to tandrill's holes journey but it will, will be worth it over here I'll give me them and them I don't need the rest let's move Legolas finally uh, let's first see we can retrain the Elven King Bogart in here. We can retrain a lot in here. So that's nice. So you guys get away from them. How are things going in here? These guys and these guys won't be able to be retrained. interesting in here but we are training quite in this army in here all right uh, let's continue the turn and see or the wing or the AI thinks they're strong enough to take Baradur, because I think I definitely don't think they are. Especially because we have done quite a blow to them. No, they didn't. Right, that's that means that we can do the same trick again. We took some losses. Uh, come on.
Ah, that's not looking. That's not nice. Just happened a few turns ago. Uh, well, also happened a few turns ago. Uh, take settlements. Look. Logard. Hmm. It's a nice settlement indeed. Don't. Don't have any siege equipment anywhere. Let's move on. Take these guys with me, this one. Move on. So we have our buffer over here, but we are continuing our fight just to continue to push on Darwinian, who should be taking quite a beating if I'm right. Yeah, you see they are definitely taking beating. Military ranking, we are getting strong and they are getting weaker very quickly. Production wise, we are the zero point almost. I'm not sure why, but nevertheless we are slightly decreasing, but Just move to them. Oh yeah, we had an army. Oh, oh damn! Oh, I like this army. <laughs> and these are quite some nice armies as well. I want to know who owns. Well, things are looking pretty well. 
I think I will do one last episode after this one and then we will end our uh, Woodland Realm campaign which is on the one hand quite unfortunate because I was really enjoying this campaign but on the other hand things are quite over and um, bottom line the good guys win and the bad guys lo uh, lost. So that will probably con uh, conclude that uh, this campaign. Uh, maybe I'll make this last episode already. We have a couple more minutes. Well, maybe I'll make a, a slightly longer video and a true conclusion to this campaign. Because as it seems, things are quite in balance. Meaning that uh, Go Rowan has saved. Gondor is quite safe and uh, we actually took um, the cities that's, uh, of the region we should take. And we reached the amount of um, territories we had to take and uh, that's actually conclude most of the uh, victory conditions and actually the campaign because the last few turns I'm like I feel like the campaign is quite over we are just cleaning up the last remaining things of this army of this camp of this thing this campaign um hmm, I'm gonna merge in here Unit of ants at our capital, that's interesting. Right. This is actually, oh uh, well, we're just gonna move like them towards Galbrin and link up with the other armies. It's actually quite a bloody hell. Oh, there are only three units. Um, they're not that strong, actually. Should be able to take that. Um, hmm. Meanwhile, in here, still nothing to retrain. It's really annoying.
So there will oh, soon we will have uh, if we have first things of first things first if we will conclude this campaign this episode uh, there will be a new episode very soon. I'm not sure whether I will get another divide and conquer. Yes. What do you think? Um, there will be another campaign. Um, replacing this one, but I'm not sure yet which uh, what I will choose. Whether it will be a divide and conquer campaign or I will uh, get back to another uh, medieval Kingdoms 1212 uh, video. I'm not sure yet. But at least it something will replace this campaign. And I hope to know what very soon. Nice. Are you bloody serious? Are you blocking my... Right. Calibrim. Eldercar. And some more candy sentinels. Well, we have some ants, so that will not be a match. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, I almost forgot you guys. Seven hundred against a thousand. Yes, good. All right, we lost the catapult. That's unfortunate, and we can't. You're bloody serious. Now it's getting. Now it's really annoying me. Right, um, over here we should try to continue to push. We have some decent units in here now. Can't train much. King Bogart, yes, thank you very much. Um, mm -hmm. All right, um, let's see, let's continue. Oh. Hmm, 
interesting. All right, come on. Yeah, we can do that. unit of ends. Because we are giving it to deal as well. for it. Gonna give that to Gondor, at least I think. Uh, or is there someone? Uh, is there some other culture way better fit for it? Yeah. Hmm. And what we do? Gonna destroy this one. and gills are as useful. Alright. Um, now we do gonna give that to Gondor. If we have some diplomat for Gondor. Good. I hope so, that you did that. Mm, match you two together. One healthy unit. Um, link up 
put them. Hmm. Sauron was finally able to escape Mordor, which is very interesting. And he only has some terrible trash. But we should try to prepare them. Mm. Get the catapults. No, don't get them. Because we have some more trainable units on the way. Interesting. Uh, Neither of them. Hmm. Maybe I can get some decent troops from here. Can these? Can get these guys. Yes, just like that. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bardur, oh that means, yes, oh you're so welcome. Alright, get the marksman, Mark marksman range. Blood. 
very awesome. Alright, we have... That's it. Oh, bloody damn. This is an end of Mordor again. That's quite unfortunate. I would like to know what other units there are in them. Agents, we do have a spy, yes. Building up quite an army in here. All right, um, let's see how are things over here. Um, barracks uh, give the valiant consul. Tandril. Give me the 
guild house. Alright. I think it will be, I think I'm gonna end the episode with the next turn, and we will turn off the fog of war. Um, and we'll see how the world actually have done. That's not good. taken which means all of this is taken them ourself all right start deployment going to use all archers while well, missile units oh you're a missile unit keep that in the reserve
What the hell? How did he catch up? Three men lost. They will be remembered. Good. Yes, that would probably um, conclude all of this. It's unfortunately, that Sarma, the Saron did not make it through any earlier. I'm very curious what he has, though. Yes, it's all trash. This is really a trash army. Orc maulers, orc fighters, uh, the best he has is some Uruk Halberds, Black Uruk Hel Halberds, and Salmon itself, of course. Who oh, has like 77 troll things, I guess? But besides that, it was a really treasure, I mean. We would have defeated it. We have the ants. We have some catapults coming in. We had some more troops in. So, and also over here, things were basically gone, uh, were basically done. So, let's turn off the fog of war. And see how the, the rest of the world has been doing. So we've seen that... Um, Dol Amrod is basically back to um, the one province of Athalion of Athalond, not Athalion, Athalond and the R Ardenaim have done pretty well actually. Harad is just bordering Gondor as they have probably been since most of the campaign since they normally Harad quite swiftly take these border regions so that um, they haven't been doing that much also Khan, Khan has moved all the way up to Asgiliad which is actually quite surprising uh, Darwinian is has lost both Minas Morgul and Minas 
on, uh, Sirit Ungol. They had come all the way down to Tarben. And they were losing here as well, so... The Wingian was losing at all fronts at this stage. And Dale pushing from the north, as I already said. Up here in the north, uh, surprisingly enough, it's a dwarven domination between Kazakh Doom and Erebor. Uh, the Unwind did survive. They have a few regions left, including Earlstrom, Framsbad, Metalburg, Bjorn's, Bjorn's Hall, and I think that's the Lo oh, no, Leot, Leot Hall. But they have lost Famhol, Dumburg, and Roskabel. Uh, but they were way stronger. I think they have they had Goblin Town once. Because they were at war with the with Dunlan and uh, no, not with Dunlan, but the Northern Dunedain. And if we look here, it really seems like the dwarves have swept the floor. Everything in area door because we have over here the dwarves of Arabor from, from all, from all ch possibilities, and over here we have the Arab Luin and Kazakh Doom as well. Um, Dunland did survive, and it seems like. Rowan didn't do much with the two provinces I gave them. Dunland basically kept their own lands, gained a few territories like Osnethil over here. And surprisingly, Saduri and Bregost over here. Uh, and it's white still survive with only one uh, with only one city, Dolvon. They were surrounded by the high elves and Dunland. So that's the high elves doing as normally not that much, but not bad either. So that will conclude this campaign of the Woodland Realm, which was quite uh, quite fun to play. It had, it had a very difficult start, but in eventually we found we find a good way to conclude this campaign with our king all the way in like the center of our empire. In Eisen Run, and I'm I'm thinking uh, what campaign should um, replace our Woodland Realm campaign. If you have any ideas, please leave something and uh, leave your suggestion in the comments. And um, I hope to see you very soon in another episode. Divided Conquer or maybe Medieval 12, 12 AD. But until then, um, I'll see you in the next.